Okay, I'm Kennedy De Silva, uh, the director of the Karuna Football Foundation, which has recently started the Compassion National Residential Girls Football Academy in Goa. Uh, we began on the 15th of August, 2021, and uh, we have had quite a few girls from across the country, uh, but uh, we have, we are in the process of uh, now looking at the academy to be an uh, academy of excellence uh, for the girls in India. We at the Karuna Football Foundation have been working with young men and women as well as children in different age categories from the slums, from the streets, as well as from orphanages for quite some time now. However, when I met Prakash Khatri, an orphan child, and who had come to one of our trainings, he prompted me to understand and recognize the need in our nation for the underprivileged and the marginalized kids. Uh, Prakash has been instrumental in helping me to understand the dynamics with what the children have been going through in their lives. And uh, therefore, the Karuna Football Foundation started this Compassion uh, Football Club, which is registered with the Goa Football Association. And we started with the boys in 2016 uh, to participate in the age group tournaments. Then we thought it's not only for the boys that we can work, but also for the girls. And so we started with the Compassion Football Academy not with young people at that time, much young people at that time, because there was no tournament because of the pandemic that had started. So we started with the women's uh, team uh, of girls who were from far flung areas, rural areas of Goa, and who had no opportunities and they were not even considered by other teams. So we started with the women's team and we did perform miserably in the initial matches, but as the uh, tournament progressed, we did improve. This only gave us a more and more uh, feeling that we should work with younger people. And then I came across uh, the understanding that is it possible for us to put up an academy? And somehow I was connected to Madam Heidi Schunemann, who is a German lady working in Indonesia for the last 25 years, that I got connected to her through one of our friends, Joseph Nirmal Raj. And when I saw the vision that she had was very much on the same lines that we wanted to work with. There is where the whole thing looked like it was a divine plan of God to bring us together so that we could plan and then prepare the guidelines for the Karuna Football Foundation's work in the National Residential Girls Football Academy of Compassion. And that's the humble beginning that we did through the discussions that we had on Zoom and then finally, we started with the academy and also at just after a month or so, we had Madam Hedy to join us in Goa in India uh, on the 30th of September. Uh, and then on, it uh, has taken a big turn uh, towards the things that we are now thinking for the future. Well, uh, when we started with this academy, it was more uh, on the lines of an orphanage or a shelter that would provide a platform for the children from the marginalized and the underprivileged communities to use football as a tool for improving life. We just started in, in a way that we could give them free education, quality education. We could give them the kind of food and the nutrition that they need for life and also on value-based training. But the whole purpose of this entire activity was concerned with football. And we wanted to give them a platform so that they could excel in sport. They could excel in life. They could excel in the game, the most beautiful game of the world, that's football. And so we began with that. However, things have changed uh, ever since we have gone through this rigors of training for the last three months. We have found that the philosophy of the entire program is now changing. The challenges that we faced definitely were many faults. And uh, we had these people who came in from different parts of the country. So they have challenges regarding language, regarding communication, 
there were challenges also regarding the level of their efficiency in the game of football or their kind of playing skills their understanding of the game because the challenge of course was also related to the organizational and administration part finances i'm sure everybody would agree with me that it's a big challenge so it has been only through family and friends that we have been able to raise the money to run this academy so definitely there have been other challenges as well uh, of the infrastructure that we needed but by god's grace many things have been in place uh, we also have challenges regarding the human resource the people who are involved with us of course we have great people in madam hedi shunaman who is our technical advisor to this academy uh, with her experience rich experience of almost about 25 years working in indonesia in the same kind of environment with the same kind of people and all that stuff she brings a lot of expertise which has helped us to look at things differently but we also have mario agiar the goalkeeper coach of the under 17 world cup team who is part as our head coach today but we would love to have many more such people we also are fortunate to have elika uh, who has been the captain of the team of compassion last year and she's also leading the team this year she's been playing her role in many ways but it needs much more milton fernandez who is one of our key directors in the academy is also uh, a person who has done a lot to make this academy work uh, we have the family and friends who have been there with us like melinda we have avinash we have charlton we have zailan we have zenio and ishan and many others who have been helping us in this academy but that's not great enough we need many more people to come and join hands with us so that we can make a better uh, academy of excellence in the future